it's Amanda and it is Monday and I have a lot of cleaning to do today so I thought I would take you guys along with me I just finished my Bible study it's like nine o'clock and I haven't really done anything before that except that I got ready for the Bible study I got myself up dressed and ready I fed the cats and I've kind of gone around and you know opened up the blinds and done some started some laundry just some little things that I did before I started the Bible study at 8 30 and, um, and by the way, we had a super late night last night, which is why I got up so late. But anyway, side note, cause most days I'm up at seven, but today it was like eight cause I'm tired. Um, uh, but anyway, there's a tremendous amount of stuff to do. Ricky is in the kitchen making himself coffee, not me. Um, I'm going to go check on that laundry cause it was just, um, I just heard it go off and then we have some laundry to fold, like a mountain of it. And then my kitchen <laughs> I need to attack before I do anything else because I really want a KonMari. So let's get to work. What? What? <coughs> am, am I in your zone? Okay. I'm going to do, oh, while I'm here, dinner. Chicken. That needs to come out. Okay, the clothes need a little more time in the dryer, so let's start it up again. And then we'll fold the laundry. Reality check. This is my mountain of laundry. Now, yesterday was Sunday, so we were running between church services and activities. And so we got laundry done, but I haven't folded it. So my husband likes to lay it all out straight, and this is the stuff that I just threw out this morning. So mountain to fold. Judge me if you will, but I know lots of you have mountains too. And it doesn't stay like that all the time, just sometimes. So, time to fold. Yay, all the laundry is done. Okay, so I finished that laundry and I just started a new load in there. And then Rick came home. And it was time for his lunch break. And so I, I was still finishing up the laundry, so really quick. I ran in here and grabbed him some food and just setting you up there. And then I started working on the dishes while he was here. So let me just show you while you're here. Dishes. So I'm going to dry them. And in case you're keeping track of the time, it is now 11 o'clock because Rick's lunch break is from 10 to 11. And so when I started talking to you, what seemed like just a few minutes ago, it was 9 o'clock and now it's 11 o'clock and I still haven't gotten some basic stuff done. I think this is the challenge of being the mom, just like getting the regular things done so that you can um, move on to the, all those activities that you really want to do. So like I still have to do my meal plan because of course Mondays are for meal planning guys. And uh, by the way, isn't this cute? Ricky got that for Brianna for Christmas. Anyway, so I'm gonna finish these dishes. And at some point, I hope, to get the actual stuff that I want to get done, my projects done, but I don't know, we'll see how the day goes. And if it doesn't, we'll do it tomorrow. I, this is, uh, cause I always take a Sabbath rest. I do it from sundown Friday to sundown Saturday. And then Sunday is usually busy riding around with church. Usually Monday I have a big cleanup day. So, um, so tomorrow, even if we, you know, even if I get really lazy after I clean up, I really shouldn't have that much to do in the morning. Um, so if I don't do it today, I'll do it tomorrow, but I, I've been waiting all weekend <laughs> to do this. So hopefully I can at least do a little something, but anyway, back to the dishes before I go away. I would like to say one word because I know some of you are thinking, when did you have the kids help? Well, Saturday we take a Sabbath, Sunday, everyone's busy. And Monday, everybody goes out the door. Uh, Ricky, Marquise have class and work and Brian works and Rick Senior works. So really it's just Brianna here and Brianna is really trying to finish up for her senior year of homeschool. So I just let her do her thing. And it's frankly, after a crazy busy weekend, I find it really relaxing to just clean my house <laughs> in peace. So, uh, so just a heads up, cause that always is a question when I do a video and I'm cleaning people are like, why aren't the kids doing it? They do their share. We do cleanups at night and that's fine. 
Um, but this is just a, after a busy weekend, what happens? And I'm the one home and this is what I do. So, and I, I, I'm happy with it. I am happy with it. There you go. Okay, so I just paused the dishes because I heard the laundry was done and I wanted to make sure that I get that done. So more folding of laundry. I know you guys are like super excited that I'm showing you <laughs> all of the regular household chores that I do, but I get asked a lot about day in the life sort of thing and, and what I do. And uh, this is it on a Monday anyway. This is pretty much how we handle things. So I will give you a time check. It is 1144. And the day is still going, and there's still a lot to do. I still have some more dishes. Uh, at 12 o'clock, because it's actually kind of warm today for a February day, I think it's going to be in the 60s, I'm going to open the windows. I just wanted to wait till the coolness of the morning warm up. And so I'm going to open the windows for a little while, get some fresh air in here, and uh, continue my cleaning adventure. I think today just might be a deep clean sort of day. We'll get on to the organizing later. Okay, so it is now noon and I have opened the windows. I didn't want to open them too much because it's still obviously a little chilly. <laughs> but they're open and I'm going back to the kitchen to finish what I was doing in there and maybe get something to eat in a little while. That'd be nice. So let's finish this work up. Okay, so I'm still drying some dishes. It is... 105 and I am going to eat. This so I'm making myself. Uh, I had some bean and rice burritos. I am starving. Brianna is up and getting around. She's planning on going outside now that it's gotten warmer. Um, I'm still trying to get this kitchen done. So clearly I'm not going to have any major activities done. Rick gets off at one. I literally have no idea what he plans to do. But I know I want to finish getting everything clean. So it's really not much to do but it's a bunch of little things and all those little things, the time that it takes to do it, it adds up. So back to work. Okay, dishes are finally done. Except for this one, I just made my lunch in and it's still a little too hot to put the stoneware, ah, to put the stoneware in the sink because I don't want to put cold water on hot stoneware. You know what I'm saying? So I'm letting that soak for a minute. I got hot water in it, but I don't want to have water in it that I can touch <laughs> you know what I mean it makes sense to me so um, I do have and I took out in case yeah I showed you earlier I took out chicken so I'm gonna have that for well everybody else is gonna have that for chicken soup for dinner I think I might make bean and rice soup but I'm not sure uh, tortillas out to thaw I'm actually those things are coming out to thaw but I actually have some leftovers in the freezer that or excuse me in the fridge that I'm going to put in the freezer this is one of them which I should have thought about doing before I did all those dishes but I also have some broth in the fridge that's my husband he just walked in I also have some broth in the fridge that I'm going to be freezing into ice cubes it's almost the last of the um, stuff that I have to make broth I have to make one more batch and then I'm done so I'm going to get all those things accomplished. The one little laundry that's in the dryer, I'm going to fold that, put it, the last little laundry in, and then I can move on to other activities. By the way, it's 1.30. Okay, so I have now done more dishes. You can see them sitting over there because I haven't dried them yet. That's what happens when you don't have a dishwasher. You got to wash everything and dry it all by hand. But what I did was I cleaned out my fridge, which I should have done before I did the dishes earlier, but I didn't. And then when I had them done, I was like, you know what, time to clean out the fridge. So I cleaned out the fridge. I have, let me show you what else I did. I got some chicken broth going just because I'd mentioned that I still have enough to make one more batch. So chicken broth. I put the stuff in the freezer that I said was going to put in the freezer. And... Um, I don't know, I, I cleaned a little bit more of my living room, dining room area. So this whole area is clean. I just have that hanging there to hang up to dry because that's a sweater and it has to hang to dry. So um, all of this cleaned off and ready to go. And then let's, let's walk down the hall and I'll show you the family room because I had all the laundry done. And then magically, as soon as it's done, people start throwing more things in there. So all of this is done beautiful I ate Rick came home from his break 
and he had a little snack. And now he's in there taking a nap. Brianna came out and she uh, was talking to Rick, having snacks, and she went outside, I think. Nope, she's in her bed. Say hi. That's about all you get. So, <laughs> so anyway, she plans to go outside at some point today. She also plans to put that laundry up. So what I'm thinking about doing now, because I'm on this thing about let's just for today get stuff going. It's 2.45. It's almost 3 o'clock. Usually I start dinner at 3 o'clock. So I do have the chicken out for dinner. That's ready to go. Before I start dinner, though, I'm thinking about making something with all that pumpkin that I have. So I'm getting ready to hit up Pinterest and find a good pumpkin recipe. And then I'll start the chicken soup. And I guess we'll get ready for dinner. Rick says that he wants to watch Incredibles 2, which is on Netflix tonight. So we might do that a little later. I'm, I'm not getting any of my KonMari done today. But hopefully if I get the whole house clean, I can hit it really hard tomorrow and then I'll, I'll be free because I don't really have any obligations tomorrow. <laughs> Even in terms of videos, I only have a live event. So it should all come together pretty quickly. So let me see what I can find in terms of pumpkin. Um, I want to make pumpkin chili later this week. So I do have that. But I'm thinking, and I, I was thinking about pumpkin granola, but not today. That's more like something I would do in the morning. So maybe like a pumpkin bread. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to look and see what I can find. Okay, so I am working on dinner. I was trying to figure out what I want to do with the pumpkin because I was thinking about pumpkin bread, but we're actually kind of short on sugar and it requires a lot of sugar for pumpkin bread. So um, I decided I'm going to try something and maybe put a can of pumpkin in my chicken soup because it's like a creamy chicken soup. And I was looking on Pinterest at a lot of recipes which use pasta and they just put the pumpkin in. And I thought, why not? It doesn't really taste like anything, so I'm going to give it a try. So um, I have my chicken soup. I'll link to the top to my chicken soup recipe. It's my absolute number one recipe on this channel. Number one recipe. Everyone loves the chicken soup. And then here's some garlic. I'm going to get ready to put that in. I have my... Um, now, when I make it now, I make it... A, you can make it the way that's in that video, but now I usually go ahead and um, fry up my um, onions and... Um, celery and carrots first because the way I used to make it was I just used to pour it in the pot and cook it and it was good but it was, this is more flavorful when you fry it first so I'm frying the vegetables right now and I'm gonna get the um, soup going and then I might throw some pumpkin in it's gonna be pumpkin experiment number one I hope it works out I won't get to eat it. <laughs> but I was thinking, instead of making myself bean and rice soup, I was like, well, maybe I'll make myself a potato soup. And when I make myself a potato soup, maybe I'll throw some pumpkin in. I might do that. I really might. Maybe I will. We'll do an experiment soup. Let's see how that goes. All right. It is 6.10. 6.10. And this is dinner. It's actually almost done. I'll show it to you in a second. I'm just stirring up the soup. I'll turn it down a little bit because it's actually boiling pretty hard. I am, uh, let me just show you. Uh, all right, I'll have to turn the camera around. But this is chicken noodle soup. I have not put pumpkin in it. I hadn't decided whether or not I wanted to yet. I don't know if everybody will freak out or not. Um, but I already ate. I did make myself some potato soup and I didn't put pumpkin in that either. I was, I looked at it and I went, mm, I don't know. It's, it's not, it wasn't really creamy cause it's a vegan one. And I thought if I'm going to put pumpkin in something, I might try something else. I don't know. That wasn't the one. That wasn't the one. I wasn't feeling brave. How about that? <laughs> so I was actually in the um, family room folding the last load of laundry. So all the laundry is caught up. Of course, it's nighttime now, so everybody's going to get showered and changed and 
then there'll be more laundry, but it's it's mostly caught up and I shouldn't have too much work to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna I'm just stirring up this soup and I'm gonna show it to you. Alright, here's the soup. And I already turned it down, but it's still bubbling pretty hard. I used elbow noodles because um, they're the gluten-free ones that I had in the cabinet that I thought would work. And it's looking pretty good. It looks like it needs to be thickened up just a little bit, but um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I gotta ask the family what they think about the pumpkin. How do you feel? about me putting a can of pumpkin in the chicken soup. Would that be weird? Yes. It's creamy though. But it'd be weird. So you're a no on it? Yeah, I'm a no. Okay. That's weird. Let's ask Brianna. Brianna, how would you feel about me putting pumpkin in the chicken no. soup? Just a straight no? no. Definitely not? No. <laughs> She says definitely not. Brian? Brian's adventurous. I am, but I'm not adventurous with that. <laughs> you, you reject it? Nothing but, sounds good about pumpkin and soup. Nothing sounds good about pumpkin and soup. Not chicken soup. I don't even like it in chili. You don't like it in the chili? No, it tastes much better without the pumpkin. <gasps> I was just, I'm trying to use my pumpkin. And I was like, I'm definitely making chili, and you're the one who loves chili. So I thought you would be into it, but no, you hate it? It dilutes the spice. You hate it? I don't hate it, it's just not as good. So if I make it extra spicy, you're good? Hmm. Yes, although it's still a little thick. <sighs> There's a pumpkin texture. Y'all are going to have to start liking some pumpkin, I'm going to tell you that right now. Alright, so I'm not doing it tonight. I, I, everybody would love pumpkin bread. I just don't have the sugar for it. Brian got me some books. Grow, Cook, Preserve, The Complete Guide to Sustainable Food. The Domain Book of Interior Design. And The Bread Bible. He brought those home to me. He got those at his... Uh, thrift store so all right everybody agree I didn't ask Rick he's still sleeping I knew he wasn't gonna get up so and Marquise is hanging out with his girlfriend Sierra so I doubt they come home for dinner tonight but chicken soup is ready if I'm not putting anything else in it so what I'll probably do is uh, whip up a quick quick salad and I would normally make some garlic bread, but I don't know if I'm going to do that tonight because I don't feel like it. So, all right, I'm turning this off. So let's go in here and we'll chat about the day. I didn't con Mari. I did clean the house. There's that. It was a fairly quiet day. I have really, in case you have not noticed, not been on the computer. Aside from getting on to check Pinterest for pumpkin recipes and checking my email, I have pretty much stayed off of it and not done anything, which means that the rest of my evening will be dedicated to going through the groups and checking um, comments and questions and things like that. So that is what I shall do. But this is kind of just a day in the life, right? This is just you guys hanging out with me on a normal day. And I didn't really do much. <laughs> At least I feel like I didn't do much. I've been working all day. I haven't sat down and napped or relaxed or, you know, I've watched, I've watched a couple of videos and um, some TV shows while I was like washing dishes and things like that. But I haven't really like just sat and relaxed and done nothing at any point in my day so <sighs> it's just how it goes so I don't know what do you guys do on Mondays <laughs> is, is this what a normal housewife does in your opinion in your experience is this what you do I think if you have a dishwasher and you don't have to stand and wash dishes you know for like an hour or two every day and um, you know 
if I didn't have a couple of days of laundry backed up, I probably would have had more time. But this is usually, like I said, how it works on Monday. Monday is just like a catch-up day. So I have Saturday and Sunday without, you know, stress or interruption. I have Monday that I have to catch up and do several days worth of work. But I really want to do the KonMari thing. So I'm trying to think of what I have to do tomorrow. So I think that maybe I could do something tomorrow, even if it's just my shirts. Like, I would just love to go through my shirt drawer. That's, like, a number one priority. So, I gotta be honest with you, I really want to take you guys along with me. So, if you can handle me <laughs> sharing with you my not-so-exciting days while I try to organize my house, then I will do that. I will share with you my days, and you can see what I'm doing. And... I might not be, I, I, I always have been concerned about vlogging because I feel like that I just don't live the most exciting life, but I mean, I'm a mom and you're probably a mom and this is just reality. <laughs> so, it's not glamorous. It's not exciting. It's just real life. But I have a clean house and my family's fed and that's enough. So, all right, well, I'm going to finish up this video. Let me know what you think. You guys want to come along? I'm, I'm going to take you anyway. <laughs> come along with me. Hopefully, we'll get this house in order. We'll, we'll start exploring the different parts of the house and talk about what we're going to do with it. So, all right, I'll see you guys later. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm really glad you came to visit us here at the Fundamental Home. Make sure if you enjoyed this video that you click the like button and also click subscribe right below me for more videos coming into your inbox all the time. And also if you enjoy social media, we've got links up at the top here for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, all the other fun things. And check out thefundamentalhome.com for more information about what we're doing all the time and how we do it because there's way more details there. And uh, here over to the right, we have some videos that I recommend. So thanks again for coming by and we'll see you next time. Bye.